Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you what I bought at Aldi and then a couple of things at Walmart for our family of 10 to eat for the week. I am trying to stay a little ahead on groceries because we live in the Midwest where we get some bad weather and some bad roads at times and last week we had some pretty bad weather where I couldn't get out and I just like to stay a little ahead on groceries so that I can make sure that if I need to wait a couple days to go to the store because the roads are pretty rough that I have plenty of food to do so. Sorry if you hear children in the background, they do live here. And so, and it is just that kind of day. We had a great, wonderful homeschool day and now we are all ready for some break time before we have church tonight. So I'm gonna flip around, I'm gonna show you what I got, give you some ideas of what I'm gonna be using it for. Remember this is for a family of 10 and this is most of what we'll eat in a week. I do have uh, two freezers that have some meat in them. I buy when it goes on sale. And we go to Costco about once a month. I'm about due for another Costco trip. It's almost February, so I'll be able to go to Costco soon, as soon as I can find a time to go. And stock up on some snacks, a few drinks, um, some things like that. Although I did get their ad and they have some pants on sale, so I might be buying my boys some more sweatpants because boys live in sweatpants. Okay, so let me flip you around and show you what I got. Okay, so here's an overview of all the food that I got for this week. Although I did realize after I fit, when I was checking out at Aldi and there was just a long line, I was not going to go back. I did not get a chocolate cake mix that I need to make a cake for a kid's birthday. So I will either pick that up at Baker's, which is our local Croker affiliate, or I will make it from scratch, but I'll probably just pick it up when I go pick up some sale items from there. Okay, so I have first this chicken tenderloin. This was $2.29 a pound. This was the same price as the chicken breast, and I actually prefer the tenderloins because they're smaller, so they're easier to divide the packages evenly if I don't want to use the whole package. It's 3.42 pounds, which is more meat than I would need for a meal. So I think I could divide each of these as like three and a half pounds so that's seven pounds. I need about two, two and a half. So I'd probably divide these into three packages for the two of these. So that, that would give us like three meals. So I will probably do that before I stick them in the freezer. And then I know this weekend we're having Italian chicken and potatoes in the crock pot. And I use the chicken and I always have to cut it up. So this will save me from having to cut it. Got a ham. These were on sale for 89 cents a pound. So this whole ham cost me like... $10, less than $10 for this ham. So there's some a lot of great meals that you can make from a ham, and that's just a really great price for a ham. Four chocolate milks. We have chocolate milk for breakfast, two, 2% and a whole milk. And I think I still have one in the fridge, in the garage fridge. An apple juice. I bought one yesterday when I ran to get um, a snack to take to a mom's night. Picked up another one, so we have two apple juices. Some cheddar cheese, we use this a lot in quesadillas. We have meals that use it. I just really like to keep it on hand because I can even just make nachos with some tortilla chips and cheese if we need a quick lunch or snack or something. Ranch dressing, I'm trying to up our salads, so keeping different salad dressings. I was thinking I needed it for something too, but can't think of what. Two cans of biscuits, we're gonna have breakfast sandwiches one night and I can make homemade biscuits but I also know we've been pretty busy lately so that will make my life easier to not have to make them where oh it's done there. okay and oh one package of sliced cheese that will also be for breakfast sandwiches or for grilled cheese I think I have two or three two packages in the garage fridge so if we want to have sandwiches for our packed lunch or grilled cheese I like to keep a couple packages of that on hand. Some yogurt. My husband's been eating this a lot, so got him eight of those. Four eggs. If we have eggs for lunch, which we sometimes do, we can go through an awful lot of eggs. So I made one day a dozen fried eggs and I think six or eight scrambled eggs, and they ate all of them with toast and fruit. And so... Always like to keep extra eggs on hand. Onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. Two flours and oatmeal. A cornflakes. That's going to go in, what is it? I'm making 
barbecue beef patties, kind of like a meatloaf with barbecue sauce and stuff. So I put cornflakes in that. Uh, vegetable oil, pan spray. I just always keep an extra one in our downstairs so that we have extra to go grab and we don't run out. So I knew I pulled my new one out of both of those this morning. Parmesan cheese for our Italian chicken and potatoes. Pancake syrup. We have pancakes every Saturday, waffles on Wednesday, and sometimes we have oven pancake. Mashed potatoes. Yes, I treat and use instant potatoes a lot of times because this is a super easy side dish that does not take much time. And sometimes I do not have the time to peel mashed potatoes. It's also pretty inexpensive because the whole box is like $1.72 and we don't even need the whole box. So we'll have those with our um, meatloaf, marshmallow and stars. We had some cereal, needed a little bit more. Okay. All, oh, pork sausage, which should be over here with our meat. I will use that in our breakfast sandwiches. I will cook this up. I will either make patties out of it, which works okay, or I'll just cook it up and put it into the eggs, bake the eggs in a 9 by 13, cut them in little squares, and put them on my biscuits. Okay, canned goods. Now, I've told you guys this, but I like to keep canned fruit on hand, especially during the winter. We go through a lot more of it because the fruit selection is fairly limited, and at some point we get tired of oranges, apples, and pears. So I always keep peaches, and I bought eight. We go we use four for a meal, and I have four cans of fruit cocktail. I have pineapple already in my pantry that we did not use up. I have some fire-roasted tomatoes. We're going to have Mexican lentil stew this weekend, so I needed that. Rotel for chicken spaghetti. Got a couple cans of chicken noodle soup. This is one thing my teenager likes and can make pretty easily on his own if I am not here. Bag of powdered sugar, a couple bags of regular sugar, four boxes of mac and cheese. That is a super quick and cheap lunch that we will have once a week that everybody, well, all but one kid loves. Spaghetti noodles, a bag of pretzels. We'll be taking that for our packed co-op lunch. Some bread, always keep that on hand. I think I have a couple of those in the fridge. We have a fridge in the garage, and my kids will just rotate what's in the garage fridge and bring it into the kitchen, and then we'll put newer stuff in the garage fridge, and we just kind of rotate through. Red lentils, that'll be for the Mexican lentil soup. I also will put carrots, and I think celery goes in there, so it has some veggies. I probably will only use one bag. It's something that everybody enjoys the first day we have it, but leftovers are hard to get rid of, so I don't want to make more than we're actually going to eat. Okay, some fruits and veggies. Yes, I did buy them. Some lettuce. Like I said, we're trying to eat more salad. Also, on leftover nights, I like to have a big salad to go with leftovers. It just kind of stretches everything a little bit. Cucumbers. We have those in packed lunch. We also are having a birthday party for a kid this weekend. And we're having pizza. And so I thought I'd put out some fresh veggies to at least feel like I'm trying to be healthy. Tomatoes for the fresh veggies. Pears, um, the mini peppers, I love those for veggie trays because they're easy. Blueberries were on sale this week, so I got two of those. I'll probably make blueberry pancakes on Saturday morning. A couple bags of carrots. I'll need those for the Mexican lentil stew. My husband's also been eating carrots every day for lunch. We pack them for lunches. Apples and oranges. So you can see my fruit's fairly limited because I buy the fruit that is a good price. I don't if they had strawberries, but the strawberries are three fifty or whatever a pound, they should be getting good fairly soon where we can get some strawberries. But it takes two to three pounds for us to have a meal of strawberries. So it gets pretty expensive pretty fast. Um, they had green grapes on sale, but they looked awful. So a bag of trash, a box of trash bags. These tablecloths are some of my favorites. So we have, let's see if I can show you. We have two really long tables. I think they're each five feet long. So see how we have these? They're two long tables next to each other because our room is like a rectangle. Our dining room is a rectangle, and we need to fit 10 people around our tables. So it's hard to find tablecloths that fit, and these are just, these are just like Ikea tables, like office tables, but they work really well, and they were super affordable and fit exactly what we need. So these tablecloths from Aldi work really well when they have these, and they're only 
they were less than $3 a piece. And so they work perfectly for our tables. And I thought these heart ones were really pretty. I have to buy two, one for each table. They hold up pretty well. Walmart has some cheap ones, but they don't hold up as nearly as well as the Aldi ones. Hobby Lobby's hold up the very best when I can find them on a good sale, but otherwise they're kind of pricey. Okay, frozen veggies. We do lots of frozen veggies with our dinners. Broccoli, peas, mixed veggies, green beans. I have corn in the freezer. So those are our usual dinner veggies. Sometimes we'll have carrots. I'll boil like fresh carrots. I don't like frozen carrots or canned carrots. I just like to boil fresh carrots. So sometimes I'll do that, but those are kind of our veggies for dinner. I did say we had a birthday. We actually have two birthdays coming up. So when I was at Walmart, I got stuff for both of them. And we don't do it. We're not doing a lot of decorations, but I figure my little kids will decorate a little bit. Got plates. You know, that's how exciting I am. And then pull-ups for nap time and diapers for bedtime for a kid that needs them. And so that is what we got. That will feed our family. If you want to see what we're eating, my January meal plan is posted and it's fairly accurate. And my February meal plan, it should be up soon. I filmed it. And it probably will be up before this video. Pretty sure. So you will you can look and see kind of what the plan is. And I buy based on that plan. And then sometimes things do change. I should try to show you guys when things change. I am not a slave to the meal plan. And we try to use up leftovers if we have them. So like last night, I planned to make a dinner. We had enough leftovers. We used up the leftovers for dinner. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we eat. If you have any questions, let me know and tell me what your favorite thing to buy from Aldi if you have one is because I love shopping at Aldi and finding, I didn't buy any chocolate. I almost went back and got chocolate today, but the line was long and I didn't want to get out of it. But a chocolate, I do love their chocolate bars. They have really good chocolate. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Please leave a comment if you have something else you'd like me to talk about or you have any questions, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos about what we do.